A sandwich shop in East Tennessee failing its health inspection. Oh this goodness, week. and another restaurant barely passed. Here's Don Dare and Food for Thought. For the second time this month, an East Tennessee restaurant has a failing health score. The inspector marked off several risk factor violations that could potentially lead to foodborne illness. The grade is a 69 at Mark's Sandwich Shop on Broad Street in New Tazewell. That's a failing score. The health department considers a grade below 70 as unsanitary. Some of the first questions asked during inspection are directed to the manager. And the inspector writes the person in charge could not answer questions about food temperatures. Specifically, the manager was unaware of minimum cooking temperature rules. The manager is supposed to know them and enforce them so the food you're served is wholesome. For example, the temperature of sliced tomatoes was at 61 degrees, but 41 and below is the safe, cool temperature. On the other end of the scale, Ready to be served white gravy was at 99 degrees, but 135 plus is the safe hot temperature to kill bacteria growth. The inspector found chicken and tenderloin in the refrigerator, but there were no date marks showing when they were first opened and placed in the fridge. The date of first use is required to be marked on perishable food and be discarded after seven days. A reinspection at Mark Sandwich Shop is scheduled soon. Next lowest inspection grade is 73 at an Aba Japanese cuisine in Knoxville. That's passing, but here are the violations. The person in charge was unaware of health rules and illness symptoms for employees. The manager should know them and pass them on to his workers. Here too, no date marks were found on ready to eat food. When the inspector asked the manager about the restaurant's HACCP plan, the manager couldn't produce it. HACCP is a food safety monitoring system to control biological hazards for the storage, use, and sale of perishable goods. At Anaba Japanese, there was no record of its HACCP plan for sushi. That doesn't mean there was something wrong with the food. There was nothing wrong with it, but there is supposed to be a record. After a few days, the inspector returned and all of the original violations at Anaba Japanese Cuisine were corrected. As you see, the new grade is a 95. A few weeks ago, Bombay Palace on Parkside Drive in West Knoxville scored a failing grade of 67. The inspector has returned and the new grade is a 92. No reinspections are necessary at the top scoring restaurants, and here are the best grades. In Knoxville, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse on Volunteer Landing, 100. Arby's, the one on Magnolia Avenue, 100. At Franklin Square in West Knoxville, Sammy's Cafe, perfect. In Etowah, Mary's Victorian Tea Room scores 100. In the city of Loudoun, Little Italy of Teleco is also graded 100. The Panera Bread in Alcoa, 100. The McAllister's Deli in Alcoa, 100. In Maryville, Poncho's Mexican Restaurant Perfecto. The TGI Fridays in Gatlinburg on the Parkway, 100. Buddy's Barbecue, the one in Kingston, also scores 100. Wendy's in Clinton on Andersonville Highway is perfect. And the Pizza Hut in Sweetwater receives 100. Some busy restaurants with great scores. Don Dare covering Food for Thought. Thank you, Don. And as always, if you'd like to look over this week's health inspection scores for yourself, we've made it easy for you to do it. They're under the As Seen On section of WATE.com. There are a lot of them. Yeah, that is for so. sure. So check it out. Yep.